Santa knows where all the best toys are. And this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, bigger savings, that is. Ho, 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 ho. That's today's Appalachian Wireless! 36-year-old Heather Smith of Kentucky Avenue in Pikeville was booked into the Pike County Detention Center twice on Wednesday. Both arrests occurred after she allegedly had smoked crack cocaine. According to court documents, Kentucky State Police responded to a report of two vehicles chasing one another. When troopers made contact with the vehicles, they allegedly found Heather Smith under the influence of drugs and acting uncooperatively with officers. Court documents said she also allegedly had her five-year-old son in the car with her and confessed to having smoked crack cocaine. Smith was lodged in the jail on charges of DUI, resisting arrest, and endangering the welfare of a minor. She pleaded not guilty to the charges and was ordered released on her own recognizance. Less than an hour after she was released from the jail, police were called to her residence. When she arrived home, she actually started uh, smoking crack cocaine in the bathroom of their apartment. Um, at 2.41, the, uh, the son and also juvenile son, five years old, actually come back home and uh, witnessed the mother in the bathroom uh, smoking crack cocaine. Uh, they called 911 immediately. Uh, myself and Officer Sonny Buckley uh, arrived on scene. Pikeville Police Officer Billy Ratliff said when officers arrived, there was still heavy smoke from crack cocaine in the residence. Uh, the smoke was still very present in the uh, residence, uh, very strong in the bathroom, but also it was present throughout the rest of the household. Uh, the five-year-old was still inside the residence when we arrived on scene. Ratliff said this is the first time he's encountered a person on their second arrest for similar serious charges in such a short time from their previous release from jail. Uh, that was definitely a first um, for endangering the welfare of a minor to be out that quickly and then be rearrested for the same charge um, that quickly. It was uh, definitely something new for me. Smith was again charged with child endangerment, and this time also public intoxication and a felony charge of first-degree wanton endangerment. She remains lodged in the Pike County Detention Center, this time on a $5,000 full cash bond. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.